folks at home, a lot of people are always asking me, Nick, I go fishing. Nick, I go camping. Nick, I go a third thing. And I never know what will light the way. And I'm always like, hey, folks at home, flashlight. That oh, any old flashlight? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the Blue Fire Desert Camo 1200 LM XML L2 LED light. My question to you is... Holy smokes, right? How, is that what you're how saying? How far is the nearest ca- uh, desert? Uh, I could find it. Listen, this is coming from a guy who's surrounded by water right now. Okay? That's true. That is true. <laughs> this bad boy... Oh, oh man, I'm surprised. <laughs> I put my eclipse glasses for that one. This works. What you're looking at here is a CRE XM L2 chip. Uh, they only have it in a certain number of military things. It's cutting freaking edge, folks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That looks like a Cree. You got a Cree in there. <sighs> sure is. <laughs> it's adjustable. <gasps> oh, <that's laughs> that's that's right. Is it it's ribbed? Adjustable. Is it ribbed? It looks like it's ribbed for your pleasure. It is. For pleasure. <laughs> As we like to say here. Visual pleasure. The only thing that could make this bad boy better is if it were IP65 waterproof technology. Oh. oh. <laughs> Crazy, right, folks? Not as good as the other one, but that's okay. I, I know, <laughs> I know. Oh, I need to do a stroke. Oh, oh. there it is. I, I, there it was. Oh, <laughs> You ever stuck on an island and you're listening to the right <laughs> song and you just want to dance? Hit the strobe button. <laughs> yeah, party time, USA. This thing is brought to you by, like I said, Blue Fire Desert Camo flashlights. It's sick, folks. Did a little review. Give you guys a little, little truth serum here. It's cool. The camo is awesome. Is it making that clicking noise? What's it make? What's, what's that? Why's it clicking? Oh, it oh, yeah. It's clicking. Because it made some nice... Uh, is it locked yeah, in the place? Just, no, but it's not just an average uh, plastic. It's like almost a ceramic material. It's nice. Oh. It's a real nice feel. Hella cool camo for if you're in the desert, Dan. Excuse me. Yeah. Some of us can't have fun on the unpanders. Uh, only issue I had with it is the light kind of sucks. It's square. That's, that's weird. I can change it. Mm. Like that, folks? Huh. Oh, yeah. Like that. Um, but I will be honest with you. If you're doing this in the daytime, it sucks balls. Hmm. But if you're doing it at night, in a totally pitch black room, boom. If you're in a, if you're in a paper bag, you so, need to find your way out. So when have you actually used that is the question. None. I um, I put it under my bed with my hockey stick that's cut in half. <laughs> Makes you feel like a badass. It totally does. What's real cool is I should um, you know, with a gun you can attach a, a flashlight to the bottom of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like a tactical flashlight. I want to do that to the hockey stick in my room. <laughs> Just attach it to the hockey stick. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> Start beating people up with it. That's funny in my uh, my end cabinet, my little side table. Night table. Night table is the word I'm looking for. I have a gigantic knife, like a knife that is un- unreasonably large. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I guess I could do the same thing with the light. So it's just like if I were to go crazy on Real? somebody, it would really, it would, you know, bring it together with the light. More looters in the area? I don't think that. <laughs> this is another weird thing. So my wife was nervous that I didn't turn on the alarm when it was completely flooded outside. Like, you literally could not drive to our house to steal from it. <laughs> then she's like... I get Swim looters. <laughs> yeah. Swim looters. Huh? And they probably pull up on a boat <clears throat> and have to unload their boat. <laughs> Pirates! <laughs> Pirates! <laughs> Pirates! Holy oh, shit, man, that's, that's the awesome. new... It's like a, a half water world. It's the that's beginning to water world. They should do a prequel. It's the end of water world. <laughs> that movie ends where it begins. Oh, it's cyclic. Kevin but that would be amazing. That would... I don't. I think I would just, you know, I'd let them take whatever they wanted to if they were literally pulling up to my door with a boat. Like, mad respect to you guys. Can't believe you bought the boat and everything. 
How about it? They probably stole the boat, obviously. They go to. So who was the boat originally? Outdoor the world. Pirates, is there such a thing as a pirate built boat? Because then it's not a pirate boat. Hmm. Hmm. The conundrum that we cannot solve here on the Unpanderers. It's a worldly issue that, sadly, we don't know any real pirates. So if you're a pirate, please comment below and let us know how you get your boats. Give us that old like while you're at it, folks. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little follow, subscribe, R, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I feel like we're like 10 years away from that's prejudice. We're, I'm a pirate, R. R. And a pirate goes, excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me? That's a... We don't actually do that. <laughs> wow, maybe you white people like to wear khaki shorts. And I go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do not wear khaki shorts. <laughs> Are you do wearing you wear khaki shorts? I feel like you always wear khaki shorts. I felt like I did that in the past. <laughs> past? Like what, week or year or in your life? I feel like when, when we physically had connections, you know. When we were around each other. <laughs> Little did I know, we had physical connections. Physical folks. interactions. Face to face. Half a dozen years ago, we'll say. Yeah, but... I, there's, well, there's a topic there, but we'll, we'll get, better, get to that later. That's a different topic. Ooh, I don't even know the topic at home, guys. I just... I'm digging so the, the topic of fashion. We should go into fashion one time. <clears throat> I think we could do fashion. Particularly fashion before you knew what fashion was or how to dress properly. Mm. When your parents dressed you, essentially. Ah. Well, think of this. You're dressing someone on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Do you think it's fashion? I don't care what he wears. Well, then, <laughs> then, that explains everything, doesn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Isn't it cyclical? Everything's cyclical. At, at some point, when he becomes of age, I will tell him, you can't wear that anymore. That is not how you dress. I'm sure he'll be like, oh, right, Dad. Yeah, sure. And I'll be like, <laughs> you're not going to get laid for like 10 years. <laughs> but you can say it like that. Yeah. yeah. And at the it's end like of the dad years, code. Yeah. Well, that's not as good looking as you think for the ladies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We love the ladies here at the podcast. Oh. So we're going we're gonna to move along to the um, our main topic. To. We're a little the into main? it. We're a little into it. Some time in here. Looks like we're going to have to push it off for next time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting pretty late. Uh, it's been a good one. Rome, folks. Hang on uh, for We're going to talk about Rome. Upcoming soon. Soon. In an unpanderers near you.